Yeah, the Hanging Fellow Samurai and this is another episode of Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment and in today's episode we are going to... Where are we going? Plague Knight stage, I guess. Fuck yeah, let's go! The Explositorium or whatever it's called. Check it out, I learned how to stand all cool last episode. I learned how to stand cool, and what else did I learn? Not sure. We defeated a boss, which was Phantom Striker, since we went into our own level last episode. You know, we went into the Spectre Knights level, which is the Lich Yard. Oh god, he didn't climb the pipe, I didn't know. He can't climb green pipes, now I know. Should've fucking told me earlier. Ambush? Yeah, so I was talking about how I was really sick yesterday and all I did was nothing. Well, it's not like, did, not like I did nothing. Well, I actually did do nothing, I just laid in bed. But I also watched a bunch of Captain Bomb like I do, often do. So that was, I guess, counts as doing nothing pretty much. But then it got me thinking that fucking stream that they keep playing on YouTube. Only features uh, Captain Bomb. I was mistaken. I thought it features Captain Bomb from season three onwards, and they were skipping season two and and one. They are definitely skipping season one, but they're not skipping season two. Apparently, the first arc of the story on those live streams is actually from season two. I just forgot. I thought it was season three. And one of the episodes. So, I got interrupted. Yeah, I can't climb green pipes. What the fuck I was talking about? I think I was talking about Captain Bomb, wasn't I? Talk about it, about it quite often. Might be the only person who talks about it. Have you ever heard anybody else mention even Captain Bomb? Maybe I'm the- oh shit, maybe I'm the only one who has an obsession with it. Check it out. Yes, yeah, so I was talking about how it starts with season two, as it turns out. But they're like, it's kind of weird because as I looked it up, season two has this arc that's kind of interrupted by like separate standalone episodes. And the thing is, that stream that's been going on on YouTube. Keeps playing. It starts with that arc. Even though, in my opinion, it could actually start with a different episode from season two, which is like a one of those first longer episodes. Because Captain Bomb originated as like a shh, like a cartoon that. Whoa, that was fucked up close. It started as this like weird cartoon that don't play during like commercial breaks on TV. It's an actual TV cartoon, and it was played during these like commercial breaks. How the fuck am I meant to go through this shit? Just really fast, I see. Not even really fast, just at the on a normal br brisk pace. So that's why season one only features like a minute long episode. And in my opinion, if they put together all these really short episodes from season one and two, and then just played them together during that stream, that could have been accepted as perfectly acceptable. Because I actually decided that 
since I'm already watching so much of it, I might rewatch season one and two. Just to see what those are like. Because I remember that a lot of characters... Character traits weren't established yet. In that one, so it was like Captain Bomb was kind of a dumbass instead of like a strategist. Quite the character shift. Oh my god, the fuck it goes on. For a long time, that fucking... Streak of fire. I mean, Captain Bomb is still a kind of a dumbass even in Season 7, but like... Not as big of a dumbass as he was in Season 1. And a lot of the, like, established lore was already... Already established in that season. Which honestly surprised me, I thought it was established, like, way later, but no, it was, like, some of the first episodes. I mean, some of the ideas that I feel like later became proper lore were kind of brought up, like, shape-shifting aliens and stuff. And it was funny... What the fuck I was about to say was funny and then I forgot. Some great memory, I think. What the fucking badass and OP I am. Just fucking spin dashing or whatever. Oh, spin dashing, that's what it's called. I forgot what Sonic's ability was called last episode or two episodes ago. I was gonna say, what's funny about these early seasons? Oh yeah, that it actually featured more unique alien races than it... Than the show had moving on, because then it kind of started to... I mean, sometimes we would get like a unique alien, but... In season 1, every episode pretty much featured a unique alien species... That Captain Bond tried to kill in some way. Also, I kind of realized that I think Captain Bomb is actually supposed to be a Star Trek parody, where in Star Trek their mission is to make contact with alien life. And like, in a peaceful way, where they're supposed to, you know, become allies. While in Captain Bomb, Captain Bomb makes contact with alien life to kill it. And eradicate it. Also, stuff like... Who the main bad guy wasn't really established. It was like, brought up, his name was brought up a couple of times, but... We never really saw him until the end of that arc I brought up, which is like the first proper arc of the series. My favorite arc in the whole series, and I feel like a lot of people would agree with me. The election arc, where the Space Fleet Admiral died in a pretty... I don't think it was an arc. I mean, I guess it was an arc where he was imprisoned by the alien sultan. And he was forced to... Lots of treasure, goddamn. He was imprisoned by the alien sultan and... Forced to fight in a... As a gladiator. Pretty much, and he fucking died. He fucking died in a fight against alien sultans himself. Where he basically cheated. He poisoned him in his prison cell. It always makes me fucking pissed off when I run into an enemy in a video game that has moves that counter my moves perfectly. Isn't that annoying? Oh wait, stuff up there. How do I get up there? Can't get up there, what the fuck? I know what Captain Bomb used to have the first season one and like a little bit of two, I think. Another thing I noticed is that when you go to the playlist of Captain Bomb season one on YouTube, all the thumbnails are like new. Oh, it's a mimic. Why is it evil though? I have one in my hideout that's very nice. Very cute too. Give it the ball and stuff. Look how much money we're making. That's pretty dope. Come on. With this much cash, we can probably get... 
it because I'm just like completely fucking reckless jumping into shit. I was going to say that I have a very bad memory, so it's crazy. Maybe I don't have a bad memory, I just have a bad memory when I'm trying to fucking remember shit off the top of my head when I'm also a little bit focused on playing a game. I think this is gonna throw us into a boss fight, isn't it? Well, where the fuck is... There we go. I was gonna say, where the fuck's my health? Anyway, how about we try to use Skeleton Sentry? Seems like a pretty good item to be using during a boss fight. It's Plague Knight's thing, and he was like, What? <laughs> wow, someone called the M. And Bay. What? And Belmer? I don't fucking know. They're using words I don't fucking use on a daily basis. I don't know how to pronounce it. This one's past its prime. What are you even doing here? Show yourself. I've come to offer you the position of court alchemist to the Enchantress. Join us in her army of invincible knights. Very invincible, though. You don't say. Sounds important, invisible knights. Tell me more. <laughs> You're clearly not paying attention. Perhaps my sight will get through to you. Haven't seen Plague Knight in this iteration in a while. Oh no, I hit my own skeleton. I'm sorry. Yo, he's shooting a lot. He cloned himself. Motherfuckers got a clone. A lot easier than a normal boss fight. I mean... He was easier than the... Not Phantom Striker. Who was it that was difficult? Also, I wonder if the flashback kicked in because I did the Lich Yard level, or did the flashback kick in because... Because I just simply beaten the third level, or the second. I don't remember which one was it. This episode was quite short, wasn't it? Well, I'm happy because I don't really... I'm not a fan of overly long episodes. And I'm glad this series is a little bit shorter. I bought something, I didn't fucking even read the description. Fire Lost Soul. Which bounces around. I also shoot it at a downwards angle. See what I'm fucking keep doing here? I'm, what I'm trying to do is fall as close to the wall as I can, so I'm kind of moving towards the wall as I fucking fall. But then it just simply gets me fucking climb back up where I just came from, which is not what I fucking want, I want to fall down, and I just lost some fucking gold because of that. Done, I'm done shopping, thank you. What is she doing again? Hey, you missed the wisp chest, want to have a look? I missed the wisp chest? Oh, I missed the wisp chest for magic expansion, that's nice. I want to talk to Plague Knight. That's his deal. You should give me money now, right? Thank you. This tower sure is seeing a burst of activity lately. Business is booming. I'm having a blast. <laughs> Drinking something with a silly straw. What a silly guy. Also, I think I realized how to prove to this guy that we're fucking cool. Ain't they cool? Holy shit, his fucking sunglasses fell off. Alright, Spectre Knight. Earned that title fair and proper, you did. Oi, no edge when I see it. And said some money. Thanks. Won't say no to money, but I don't know, I fucking hoped for a little bit more. Something more interesting. Maybe a skateboard? So, 
Is there anything new here? Doesn't seem like there is. So I can't even fall from the fucking platform to the right of it because I keep climbing a fucking wall. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. So, thumbnails for season 1 are all new, but season 2, they're not new, even though the stream that's keep playing starts with season 2, so you'd think people will be more interested in getting people to rewatch the series from season 2, which I would actually recommend. From those, like, some of those later, longer episodes of season 2 is probably worth. I would recommend people start watching it. Even though I don't know if I would even recommend people watch it to begin with, even though I talk about it a lot, but... I don't know if it's a recommendable series, because as much as I love it, I don't think every, everybody would fucking love it, it's weird. It's like Xavier, Renegade Angel, if you ever seen that. It's also really weird, but and I like it, but I don't know would I ever fucking recommend it to anybody, because it's just so fucking weird. So see you fellas in the next episode, bye.